This is Banjo, and today I'm going over Grimes' crate filler script. The script can be used to customize which gear will appear in a particular crate, and can be used to add custom gear into crates as well. The first step involves copying over the initialization line into a blank crate near mission. Next, we can see several customizable parameters available for us to customize which gear will appear in the crate. Next, we'll take a look in the mission folder at how this is set up. We can see in the provided mission that comes with the download, we have gcrate.sqf. This is the crate filler script. On the right, we can see the script. And again, we have our parameters that we can configure on the top. In this case, I have basically everything except for independent weapons and uniforms set up to be enabled. Zero means disabled, one means enabled. You can configure this as desired. That concludes the editable parameters for that particular script, but if we scroll down we can see how it works by calling config weapons. So if Arma gets updated, the script will keep up to date with the updated class names. But if we look at the second script provided, gcrate manual 101, be sure to rename this as needed if used in your mission as the init line will be calling for gcrate.sqf. But here we can see it's set up very much like the old script, but down at the bottom it's calling manually every single class name that's added into the crate. This allows us to edit any modded weapons from add-ons in, as we can see, simply adding another line in the parameters for mod weapons, and adding another class for mod weapons containing all of the class names that will be added in will enable us to add any third-party add-ons as another option to enable or disable at will with the script. Just be sure to note if you're using the script, any class names that become broken in updates need to be manually updated. The final setup in the editor involves placing any gear crate and adding the initialization line, which can be found in the top of the script. And finally in-game, as we open this NATO supply crate, we're able to see all of the items and weapons that have been added as configured by the script. You'll be able to find a link to the script in the video description.